Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tokyo Walking Series. I am Minami, and I will be your narrator for this time. Alright, here we are today at the Little Edo, Kawagoe, with our members Valentin and Risako. A little reminder that visiting Kawagoe requires a lot of walking. So prepare some water, get some sunscreen, and let's go! Hello everyone! Seno! <laughs> Welcome to Welcome Japan channel! My name is Valentin, I'm from Mexico. I've been living in Japan for 10 years. This is my fifth year in Tokyo. So today we're here in Kawagoe and I'm really looking forward to exploring the place. Hi, I'm Rusako. I was born in Tokyo and then I also grew up in Tokyo and then I'm working in Tokyo now. So this is the second time for me to come to Kawagoe. Okay. So I'm so excited to go around here. Well, as you can see today, it's not raining. We're having pretty good water, mm -hmm. so we're really lucky. Both of us are really excited to go and yeah. see the city. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. First of all, let me introduce to you guys a bit about Kawagoe. Kawagoe city is located on the northeastern edge of the Musashino Plateau slightly south of the central part of Saitama Prefecture. From Tokyo, it is just 30 minutes train ride from Ikebukuro Station without any transferring. Different from the all-modern and high-technology Tokyo, Kawagoe somehow successfully maintains the style of the Edo period and mixes it well with the modern part. With that, and its close relationship with the Tokugawa Shogunate and Edo during the Edo period, Kawagoe is also known as the Little Edo nowadays. Where our members chose to start our trip, that Kurazukuri Street is where you can see this really clear. In 1893, a fire destroyed a substantial part of the city, resulting in the reconstruction of several buildings using layers of fireproof clay called Kura. This architectural technique shaped the beautiful old buildings you see today, which used to be warehouses from 18th to 19th centuries. You'll find various souvenir stores selling kitsune fox masks, chopsticks, beautifully crafted ceramics, and handkerchiefs. Walking around and checking out these shops is also a very interesting experience when visiting Kawagoe. Alright, enough talking. Let our members lead the way to our first destination. After around 15 minutes of walking from the bus stop that we get off at the Kuranomachi, we reach our first spot today, the famous Hikawa Shrine. Located in Miyashita Cho of Kawagoe City, Hikawa Shrine is approximately 1,500 years old and is known as a Shinto shrine that has been worshipped for happiness in the marriage and family. That is why the shrine welcomes a lot of young girls and also couples to come to visit. It's not a trip to Hikawa Shrine without a walk through this tunnel of Emma or the wooden prayer plates and read some of the wishes. Oh, don't worry, you don't actually have to read any of them since pretty most are in Japanese. But one of my friends did tell me that he found it very fun to try and find some English written Emma here. You may find some very interesting wishes here. The shrine is also well known for its corridor of wind chimes. Since the olden days, the Japanese believe that the wind has the power to convey people's feelings. So writing down your feelings on the wind chimes around the shrine, I believe to somehow convey it to your loved ones. 
The Wind Chime Festival is held every summer during the months of July, August, and September, when thousands of wind chimes with one's wishes written on wooden plates are displayed until nighttime with all of the light up and illumination and the relaxing sounds that create a very authentic atmosphere. By the way, you can also try out the Aitai Mikuji fortune telling. This omikuji is chosen by fishing a Thai fish shaped fortune. Fun fact the shrine is sometimes referred to as Kawagoe Hikawa Shrine to distinguish it from the other Hikawa Shrine in Omiyaku of the same Saitama city. Goodbye to the shrine and say hello to our next destination is Toki no Kane, the bell of time. Toki no Kane was originally built between 1624 and 1644. This tower was burnt down a few times in the past until the last time and the great fire of Kawagoe in 1893 and then built back again one year after that. Still, it retains the atmosphere of the castle town and has been used by the people since the beginning of the Edo period. This wooden three-story 16 meters in height tower has been telling time to the residents for around 400 years and has always been the symbol of the town. In 1996, the bell was selected as one of the 100 best soundscapes in Japan to preserve by the Environment Agency. Inside the tower compound, you can also find a little shrine called Yakushi Jinja. The main deity of the Yakushi Shrine is the standing statue of Yakushi Nyorai, which is said to be beneficial for curing illnesses, especially eye disease. Okay, it's around 12 right now, and our stomachs remind us to have something to eat soon if we do not want to faint in this crazy hot weather. And to be fair, it's not really sightseeing without trying local food, right? So let's go! Welcome to Torisei! It's good that the place we wanted to go is just around the corner. This long established restaurant is located right in front of the Bell of Time. The interior of the restaurant gives off a very Japanese inn atmosphere which maybe makes you feel like to stay longer instead of stopping by only a few minutes for meal break. From our seats, we have a whole view of their courtyard through the big glass window. I find this very relaxing and a very good way to enjoy the Japanese culture while eating. Goodbye. Goodbye. Salud. Goodbye. Salud. Ah. <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> Let's talk about our main topic here, which is the menu. The Torikamamishi Teishoku is a popular set meal that uses carefully selected Japanese chicken and comes with a generous amount of chicken and mushrooms on top of the rice. When you mix the rice with the chicken, the gentle taste of the rice infused with the chicken flavor will spread in your mouth. So delicious! Oh. If you are interested in this kind of traditional food, please check out our video of Monzen Nakacho, where we also introduce a little bit about the area's famous Fukagawa Meshi, which is kind of similar to this. Wow. You can also find a lot of more traditional menus here. 
せーの,せーのいただきます,きます Look at the members enjoying eating <laughs> I wish I was there to have a taste of the food too but I guess next time then It was a very delicious meal so ごちそうさまでしたごちそうさまでしたおいしかったねいきますいきましょう Next, let's find something for dessert. And when you are thinking about sweets in Kawagoe, then you have to talk about sweet potatoes. Yes, Kawagoe is famous for sweet potatoes. Here in Kawagoe, you can find a lot of sweet potato related food and drinks, like chips, ice cream, sweet potato coffee, and even sweet potato beer. However, the one thing you should definitely try out is the sweet potato chips at this famous store called Koedo Osatsuan. You can tell how much people love this place just by looking at the line waiting in front of the store. Oh, don't forget to take a picture here too. Look at this. Potato is boldly sliced lengthwise, then deep fried. It is so crispy that your hand cannot stop taking more. The chips are delicious as it is, but you can also add your favorite dip for additional 40 yen. There are seven kinds of dips to choose from salted butter, chocolate, molasses, and caramel. The one we chose. Salted butter dip seems to be especially popular. Our members seem to be really enjoying the chips, which makes me really jealous. Okay, now that we are all fully charged, let's go to the next destination. It's time to find some souvenirs to bring back home, I guess. And some Japanese candies must be a great choice, don't you think? Well, If you agree with me on that, then this confectionery row, Kashiya Yokocho, is definitely a must visit place for you. This small back street alley has a cobblestone street covered with colorful glass and crowded with about 20 confectionery stores. It is said that Kashiya Yokocho started around the beginning of the Meiji era and that there were more than 70 stores in the town in the early Showa period. However, the number of stores decreased drastically due to the war and changes in lifestyles. Still, the humanistic atmosphere of the alley and the simple, nostalgic, and warm street corners still give people comfort even though the times have changed, making everyone feel like a child again when they step into the street. The simple and nostalgic scent of Kashiya Yokocho was selected as one of the 100 best scented landscapes by the Ministry of the Environment in 2001. Time is running out, and soon we will have to leave this town and go back home. So, as a final destination, We decided to visit a cafe to sit down and rest for a while. Not far from the Bell of Time that we visited before, it's one of the most famous Starbucks stores around the Starbucks of Kawagoe Kanetsuki Street. To be honest, here's the spot that we are most excited about. The exterior design is based on the traditional kurazukuri, while the interior design pays respects to the history and local color of the area. A courtyard is located in the center of the store, and a Japanese style garden with terrace seats are available at the back. Here, you can relax in the scenery that changes with the seasons. Relaxing in the lingering aroma of coffee and the sound of the bell. When we visited the store in July, the Saitama Area Limited strawberry and citrus frappuccino was the must try drink at that time. 
this and the other 46 frappuccino drinks were included in the 47 Jimoto campaign that was held back then as part of the 25th celebration of Starbucks in Japan. Alright, guys, thank you for watching today's video.、Uh, this is the end of it. Which part do you like the most? Let us know in the comment section、mm -hmm. below, you know? Yeah,、Would、click the、like? thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell notification, and turn the on so you get informed every time a new <laughs> video comes out. Alright, thank you for taking the time today to be with us. So, and, you see know, you next video? Maybe. I don't know if we're gonna be in the next video,、mm -hmm. but you know, have a good day. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much, Valentin and Risako. For introducing us to the nostalgic Kawagoe today. I'm your narrator for this video, Minami, sending love and a big thank you for watching until the very end with us. See you in the next video. Bye bye!